Let's face it, there's nothing quite like a celebrity feud, and there's certainly no love lost between these Hollywood stars. When Scott Foley tied the knot with fellow actor Marika Dominczyk in 2007, the couple reportedly established a golden relationship rule, cut off all contact with exes. That included Foley's ex-wife Jennifer Garner. In 2015, a source told Radar Online, "...there's no relationship, friendly or otherwise, between Scott and Jennifer now. Marika would leave him in a heartbeat if he tried to change that, because to her it would be totally inappropriate." Indeed, Foley appeared to confirm just that to Radio Andy in 2021. He was asked about his marriage to Garner, and noting that Dominzik was in the studio, nervously laughed. This is I'm dangerous, this. dangerous no, this is territory, my now friend. This Adding that they haven't stayed in touch, Foley emphasized that they're always civil when they see each other around Los Angeles. Me and, you know, everybody says hi and you're cordial right. and you move on. Garner and Foley first met on the set of Felicity in 1998, quickly started dating, and married in 2000. However, they separated in 2003, with Garner blaming both her young age and the crazy pace of Hollywood life. She explained to In Style, "...it is a fast lane life, and if something is not working, it is considered best to end it without much thought. If we lived where I was brought up in West Virginia, we would probably still be together." Even so, she had nothing but respect for her ex-hubby, telling Allure in 2013, "...he's a really good guy." How long can a Hollywood feud last? As it turns out, decades. George Takei and William Shatner first met on the set of the original Star Trek TV series in the 1960s, and they're still fighting to this day. In a 2022 interview with The Guardian, Takei claimed almost everyone got along great on set, noting, except for one who was a prima donna. He was referring to Shatner, of course, whom he dubbed a cantankerous old man that nobody enjoyed working with. He made a similar claim in his 1994 biography, To the Stars, in which he wrote, "...Bill seemed totally immune to the sensitivities or efforts of those he worked with. His driving determination seemed to blind him to everything around him. As for Shatner, he told The Times in 2022 that he couldn't believe he was still being talked about. He asked, "...60 years after some incident, they are still on that track." Don't you think that's a little weird? It's like a sickness. Another highly publicized and highly contentious exchange came earlier in 2008, when Shatner alleged Takei hadn't invited him to his wedding, something Takei denied. It's so painfully obvious that there is a psychosis there. Before Daphne Maxwell-Reed took on the role of Aunt Viv on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Janet Hubert created and embodied the character for the show's first three seasons. Fans were confused when she suddenly disappeared in 1993, but Will Smith soon placed the blame at her door. In a 1993 radio interview, he slammed, Janet Hubert wanted the show to be the Aunt Viv of Bel Air show. He accused her of being difficult to work with and jeered, "...she's mad now, but she's been mad all along." Hubert responded by admitting she did butt heads with Smith, but told the Los Angeles Times, "...I'd worked hard and I never saw that coming." She also accused Smith of trying to tarnish her reputation with lies, telling the publication, "...he has gotten me fired from the show, and now he is trying to snatch my career away from me." When TMZ asked Hubert in 2011 if she'd ever consider a reunion, she made it clear the wound was still fresh. "...I will never do anything with an asshole like Will Smith." In the end, she did actually agree to appear on the 2020 HBO Max reunion, where she explained how Smith's accusations affected her. It's calling a black woman difficult mm -hmm. in Hollywood is the kiss of death. Mm -hmm. It's the kiss of death. In the end, both Hubert and Smith apologized to one another. Rupert Sanders and Kristen Stewart made headlines for all the wrong reasons in 2012, when it was revealed they'd had an on-set affair. Stewart was dating Robert Pattinson at the time, while the Snow White and the Huntsman director was married to Liberty Ross. For her part, Stewart issued a public apology, saying, "...this momentary indiscretion has jeopardized the most important thing in my life." the person I love and respect the most, Rob. Sanders, who had been married to Ross since 2002, seemed to have a more lax response, 
Speaking with Metro in 2017, he mused, I am bound to make more mistakes, and I wouldn't expect my life to be exciting if I didn't. If you took people off the table for a momentary lapse, there would be no one making art. Initially, Ross decided to stay with her husband. However, she reportedly demanded he not direct the Snow White sequel. A source claimed to Radar Online, she just doesn't want him to ever work with Kristen again. So, the Huntsman Winter's War proceeded with a different director, but in the end, it wasn't enough. The couple split in 2012, and Ross filed for divorce in 2013. In 2022, she opened up about the affair with The Times, calling it brutal. Wesley Snipes wasn't exactly a hit on the set of 2004's Blade Trinity. Many of his co-stars spoke candidly about how difficult it was to collaborate with Snipes, who allegedly stayed in character the whole time. Patton Oswalt accused him of trying to strangle director David Goyer, of never leaving his trailer, and of being constantly high. And Ryan Reynolds found the process especially difficult. He later told IGN, My personality is the polar opposite of Wesley. I never met Wesley, I only met Blade. Things got so tense that he actually tried everything he could to get Snipes to laugh or break character, but failed. Reynolds mused, It was a challenging process. I've never experienced anything like that. And his exasperation can actually be seen in the film, during one moment in which Reynolds believed the cameras weren't rolling. He hates me, doesn't he? Snipes denied the reports in an interview with Vice, but it's safe to say he and Reynolds won't be working together again anytime soon. The results aren't always positive when you throw two big stars together. Harrison Ford and Brad Pitt proved that while working on 1997's The Devil's Own, which almost didn't happen at all because the duo couldn't get on the same page. Speaking with Newsweek in 1997, Pitt revealed he almost quit the project because he wasn't happy with the script changes Ford had requested. He revealed, This script that I had loved was gone. In the end, Pitt stayed on when the studio told him he'd face a $63 million penalty for quitting. The allegations nevertheless made major headlines, and just a month later, the actor backtracked, telling the Tampa Bay Times the real reason he thought of walking away was that he was scared they wouldn't do the story justice. He added, It wasn't because of lack of script or loss of faith in anybody. As for Ford, he addressed the drama more recently in a May 2023 interview with Esquire, insisting that the issues did come down to the script. Ford didn't think his character had enough depth, so he worked with a writer to change that, and soon, the script and the very direction of the film were upended. He said, I was imposing my point of view, and it's fair to say that that's what Brad felt. Kourtney Kardashian has been in her share of sisterly feuds, but none was quite so intense as her physical altercation with Kim Kardashian. The blowout happened on the season 18 premiere of Keeping Up With The Kardashians back in 2020, after Kourtney went off on Kim for making it seem like she was the only one in the family with a work ethic. The confrontation quickly escalated after Kourtney threw a water bottle at her sister. Do it already! The fight was a tipping point for Courtney, who then decided to step back from filming the show. Speaking with Vogue Arabia in 2020, she explained, I was feeling unfulfilled, and it became a toxic environment for me to continue to have it occupy as much of my life as it was. It wasn't the first time the pair butted heads over work. In 2015, Kim berated Courtney for refusing to be in her video game. Then, in 2023, their animosity was reignited when Courtney accused Kim of stealing her Dolce & Gabbana wedding looks for her own Dolce & Gabbana fashion collab. It's just legit copying my wedding. While Khloe Kardashian encouraged her to talk to Kim, Courtney outright refused, claiming that Kim is intolerable to talk to. Julia Roberts was the queen of the silver screen in the 90s, churning out hit after hit. Then there was 1994's I Love Trouble, which was the complete opposite. The film, co-starring Nick Nolte, was a flop, and its failure largely came down to its two leads not getting along at all. Back in 1994, the Los Angeles Times reported on the headline-making on-set feud, with sources alleging that Roberts was rude to Nolte because she didn't like his 
macho attitude. He reportedly pushed her buttons on purpose. Indeed, while shooting the film, Roberts told the New York Times that their relationship was anything but perfect. She admitted, From the moment I met him, we sort of gave each other a hard time, and naturally we get on each other's nerves. Nolte fired back soon after, telling the Los Angeles Times, It's not nice to call someone disgusting, but she's not a nice person. Everyone knows that. Jump forward to 2022, when Insider asked Nolte about his past feud with Roberts. Nolte claimed they never buried the hatchet, but did eventually move on. He conceded, It was partly my fault and a little bit of hers. Julia got married at the beginning of that film, and it was one of those things where I just approached it all wrong. 